Hi guys. I absolutely love this time of year. Dark nights, crackling fires, autumn, the fall. We have the Catherine wheels over here and children with their woolly hats on, sporting rosy cheeks and red noses. Also toffee apples and homemade soup. Not to mention dumplings. Well, tonight I want to talk about Guy Fawkes. Now, it was originated over 400 years ago in London. After Queen Elizabeth I died, I believe, in 1603, English Catholics who had been persecuted under her rule had hoped that her successor, James I, would be more tolerant of their religion. Now, James I had, after all, had a Catholic mother. Unfortunately, James did not turn out to be more tolerant than Elizabeth. So, a number of young men, 13 to be exact, can you hear the fireworks, guys? Decided that a violent action was the answer. Robert Catesby led this violent action. And the plan was to blow up the Houses of Parliament. Okay, and in doing so, they would kill the king and the members of the parliament who were making life difficult for the Catholics. Remember, back in the olden days, it was all religious run. Different now, isn't it? Today, these conspirators would have been known as extremists, terrorists. Has times changed, eh? I think not. In the early hours... Of November the 5th, Robert Catesby, Thomas Winter, John Wright, Thomas Percy, and of course, Guy Fawkes. Okay, Guy Fawkes, he was called. And other fellow traitors broke into the cellars of Parliament with 36 barrels of gunpowder ready to blow up the king and his government but were captured by the armed guards before trying to ignite London. Now this struck a chord for the people of England. So from that night, Bonfire Night has been celebrated. And from that, na from that night, the people of England celebrated the safety of the king and Guy Fawkes and his partners in crime were executed. Okay, now since then, November the 5th has been called Bonfire Night, Guy Fawkes. My question is, did the people of old England celebrate his execution or honour his attempt to do away with the government? Now, I want you to, you know, what you think about this. We'll never know. Has times changed? Or be, are we going back to the dark ages again? You know, blown up places and cities all over religion and politics. There's a reason I'm doing this tonight, guys. And I want your thoughts on this. So England celebrated his execution. Or did they honour it? Did they honour it for trying to blow up Parliament? I'm sitting here and the fireworks are going off. And as I'm looking into this lit candle, I'm seeing a vision of him as it's hazing over. I see his spirit. He's a cheeky chappy with his rogue-like smile and very blue eyes. He winks as he tips his cap. However, I feel he was he's paid his price and he now is living on in the spirit realm. I say goodbye to him for now. One thing's for sure, <laughs> Guy Fawkes will never be forgotten. 1570 to 1606 he reigned on earth. Have fun guys, don't forget to keep your pets safe, look after your children, take care, relax, have a good night, wherever you all are around the world. Because times are changing. And we are living in times where Everybody's starting to stand up for their rights. Remember, this is the great spiritual awakening. Wherever you all are around the world, 
take care, have fun and um, have a good one and I'll see you all in a bit. Bye now. <laughs>